BTEC Applied Science Help. Um, I've had a request to do this video. How is my overall grade worked out? Mainly for extended certificate. How do they work out if you get pass, merit, D, distinction or distinction star? In the case of extended certificate, it would be pass, pass, merit, merit, distinction, distinction or D star, D star. So how do they work it out? Well, that's what I'm going to try and explain. Now, for the certificate, covered this in another video, it's equivalent to half an A level. Uh, it's usually done in the first year if you're in college for two years uh, and it's units one and two. You have to do those two units. The extended certificate is equivalent to a full A level. Uh, it's usually done in the second year. So you do certificate in the first year, extended certificate in the second year, and you usually do, well, you have to do unit three, and then you do an optional unit. Probably not one that you choose, but one that your teacher chooses, depending on what kind of specialist they are. If they're a biology teacher, it'll be a biology one. If they're a physics teacher like me, It'll be one of the physics ones because I'll do a good job of it. Uh, you get for each of these units, you get a grade. Uh, these grades are converted into points. The points are added up. And then depending on how many points you get, the total number of points, uh, that's how you work out your overall grade. OK, uh, and I'll show you the table later in the video. So unit one is an external exam. In fact, uh, it's three external exams. They used to do all of them together in two hours, but they've split it into three now. So uh, three 40 minute papers, a biology, a chemistry and a physics paper. Uh, each one is worth 30 marks. So the whole thing is out of 90. Now, uh, what they do is they add up the marks out of 90 and divide by three, so you end up with a mark out of 30. Now, um, near pass, if you get six, then you get a near pass. If you get less than six, you get nothing. Uh, pass is uh, if you get nine out of 30. Merit, if you get 15 out of 30. Uh, distinction, if you get 24 out of 30. So half marks is a merit, 15 out of 30. Uh, the near pass was brought in because an awful lot of students find unit one very hard and they were struggling to get a pass. Uh, and if you didn't get a pass, then you failed it completely. So they brought in this near pass. Uh, you can pass the qualification without achieving a pass on an externally assessed unit, which uh, unit one and unit three, if you get a near pass. You don't get very many points for a near pass. You may not get very much overall, but at least you haven't failed. OK, it's a near pass. Uh, the grade boundaries I've shown here uh, will vary from year to year. They do vary slightly from year to year. Unit two. Now, unit two, you do four assignments uh, and your teacher will give you a grade for each assignment. This is very important. You must get at least a pass on each assignment. Uh, if you don't get a pass on any of the, assign the assignments, then you fail the qualification. You don't get anything for any, you know, that's the course you've been wasting your time. OK, and the lowest grade that you get for an assignment counts as your grade for that unit. For example, if you get uh, for the four assignments, D, M, M, D, you get a merit because your lowest grade is a merit. If you get pass, distinction, distinction, merit, you get a pass. It seems very unfair if, if on the first assignment you do, and when you start doing these assignments, you may not actually be very good. You know, you, you haven't learned a great deal. You've only been there a few weeks. Uh, and if you get a pass, then you're limited to a pass. OK, uh, you may get a chance to resubmit to get a higher grade. That's up to your teacher. Uh, but the lowest grade that you get for any assignment 
counts as your grade for that unit. So a D, M, D, U, you get a U. Yeah, you fail it. And as you must pass unit two, then that means you fail the whole course. Harsh, yes, I know. You must pass unit two, these four assignments, and you must get at least N near pass for units one and three. And then for the optional unit, work must be submitted for the optional unit. If you don't, then you get nothing. For the whole course, you achieve nothing. You fail. Now, assuming that you get at least a pass for all of the three mandatory units, in other words, not the optional one, uh, for each unit, you get a certain number of points depending on your grade. So your overall grade is calculated from the total number of points. So look at this table. I'll, I'll show you some examples shortly. So for unit one, um, for whatever you get, a near pass or a pass or a merit or a distinction, you get that many points. For example, if you get a merit for unit one, you get 15 points. If you get a distinction for unit two, you get 24 points, etc. If you get a near pass for unit three, you get eight points. OK, and then look at the total number of points there. And that's your overall grade. OK, which actually should be pass, pass, merit, merit, distinction, distinction, etc. OK, because it's two grades. Notice how important unit three is. Yeah, unit three is worth more than unit two or unit one. Uh, and uh, it's worth twice as much as the optional unit. For example, unit 16, which is the one I usually do, the astronomy. OK, notice how important unit three is. You can make up an awful lot of ground if you do well on unit three. And it's easy. OK, it's a lot easier, I think, than uh, any of the other units. Here's some examples. So this young man here, uh, unit one, he got a merit, which is worth 15 points. If you go back and look at that table, unit two, he got for his four assignments, D, D, M, D, which means he gets an M because that's his lowest grade, 15 points. Uh, unit three, he got a distinction, 32 points. Uh, for the optional unit, let's say he did unit eight, uh, he got a merit, 10 points, total 72. If you go back, look at the table, he got a merit overall, he got a merit. Here's another example, this young lady here. Uh, unit one, she got a merit, 15. Unit two, uh, D, 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 which is a D, distinction, 24. Uh, unit three, distinction, 32 points. Unit eight, she got a merit, 10 points. Add them up, 81. She gets a distinction. Well done. Off to do nursing, I think, now. Uh, this young man here, bright young man. Unit one, he got a distinction. Unit two, D, 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 D distinction. Unit three, he got a distinction, 32. Uh, the optional unit, he got a merit, 10 points, but his total is 90, and that's a D star, D star, okay, uh, for the extended certificate, so D star, D star. This uh, charming young lady here, uh, unit one, uh, she got a near pass, six marks unit two m d m u okay her fourth assignment was rubbish uh, and she gets a u for unit two yeah because that's her lowest grade unit three oh she did fantastically on that 32 marks unit eight she got a merit but it doesn't matter because unit two she didn't pass unit two so overall she gets a U. Ouch. Then this young man, who happens to be her boyfriend, uh, unit one, he got a merit. Uh, unit two, 
pass pass merit distinction so he gets a pass because that's his lowest grade so nine points unit three uh, he got a U okay and unit eight he got a merit so overall for the extended certificate he's failed but he could be awarded a pass for the certificate because the certificate is just units one and two okay and his total points for that is 24 and that's worth a pass okay i hope that helps um by the way before i go make sure you subscribe could you please tell your classmates uh, tell your teacher about this youtube channel i'm sure they'll be very grateful okay if you got any ideas for any more videos let me know in the comments bye now